So for over decades, Microsoft and Google have battled over various products, be it browser, search and office apps. But today, Microsoft just backed Google's open agent-to-agent -agent protocol. So this A2A spec lets AI agents collaborate across various platforms, cloud services and companies. Yes, you heard that right, Google and Microsoft have entered into a partnership. So let's unpack why this matters. So the A2A protocol lets agents, which are the semi-autonomous AI systems, exchange goals, manage tasks and invoke each other's actions. So think of it this way. One agent books your meeting, the other AI agent writes your email, and there's a third one that checks the inventory. So it's all happening between different apps, cloud environments, and even companies without any custom glue code of sorts. So Microsoft's bringing the A2A protocol to the Azure AI Foundry, then the Copilot Studio, and they're not just using it, right? They're joining the GitHub working group to help evolve the protocol. So it goes beyond a flex. So it's almost like a future-proving move. And look, enterprise agents aren't toys anymore, right? Because we have over 230,000 organizations that use Copilot Studio and over 70,000 developers have adopted the Azure AI Foundry. And they're building real workflows because with A2A, agents can invoke other business vendors and you know share capabilities and task status securely. You can also maintain audit logs and enterprise governance. And that's massive, right, for sectors like HR, logistics, and finance, where multi-vendor, multi-step automation becomes the norm. And it's not just Microsoft. They have over 50 partners from SAP to Salesforce, MongoDB, and JetBrains. They've all backed a to a So Microsoft is layering enterprise-grade safeguards. So we have Microsoft Intra for IAM, which are mutual TLS for agent-to-agent -agent encryption. Then you have Azure AI content safety for moderation. And they're not locking anyone in because A2A is tool agnostic, right? Developers can use Langchain, Semantic Kernel, or whatever framework they love. And look, every company is building agents and every company wants interoperability. So the problem, no one wants 100 agent protocols. And Google launched A2A, Microsoft backed it. Anthropic, OpenAI and others are adopting complementary protocols like the MCP. So this could be like a start of a true standard, like HTTP for agents. And Microsoft backing A2A means that the agent wars may pause just long enough to build bridges. Because the next wave of AI won't be about solo co-pilots. It'll be about collaborative systems, you know, agents that reason, act and now coordinate with each other. So let us know what you think in the comments below. And for more such stories just like this, like, follow and subscribe to AIM TV because think AI, think AIM.